Hello, my lovely Pisces. How are you, loves? I hope everybody is well. Pisces, welcome to your weekly reading, weekly energies. Sun, Moon, Rising Signs, and Venus Signs. General reading. Might resonate highly with you, loves. Might highly do not. The third week in June. And also, I do record this reading on the new moon as well as the solar eclipse. Both are in Gemini. Quite strong energy, loves. And being inclined that this is the time, the day to do this reading. And of course, after I am upload all the videos will be posted here for all of you to watch it. Let's see here, Pisceans, what we got for you. What's your overall energy and how the things are there for you. Three of Cups, Seven of Wands, Ace of Swords, and the Sun. So, the truth will set you free. Because what I'm seeing here, somebody here wants to come forward and you are standing up for yourself. If you come clean, if you are the way you need to be, then welcome. If not, it's better to go away. There's kind of a thing like, you know, I'm standing up for myself. Finally. And, you know, it's kind of like, you know, I'm happy about it. Happy to say what I need to say. This could be somebody here as a friend or somebody who put you in a third party or somebody who been a third party in the past and you try to get out or you are being out from it. Let's see here, loves. Also, I do see here a conversation happening. Ten of Cups, Three of Swords, another three, Two of Swords. I don't want this type of happiness, this type of happiness. Libra energy here, justice, ace of wands. This is coming this week. Could be as you see this video or within one week because ace of wands is the timeline, which is once for me are weeks and ace of wands is one week. Ten of swords. Knight of pentacles. Magician and Nine of Wands. You manifested totally something else. You are in something else. And I feel here you know your power. You might have Leo in the chart or Earth, Pisces. But I feel here you indeed looking for something new. Not something here who hurts you or will hurt you. Slow movement, but good. You know, slow and steady wins the race. And it's better a solid foundation than a shitty one. There's a lot of swords here. And I feel here, whoever comes here, they will have a, a very unpleasant, probably, surprise that you are not about to take their Ace of Wands. They offer, basically. I don't want my heart to get broken. I don't want you to put those swords anymore. I don't want to be betrayed again. Just because you tell me certain things that this time will be stable, this time will be good, this time will be grounded. And Nine of Wands, you have a history with this person. I do see Libra, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Leo energy, but I feel here this is very much you. You. 
yeah, look at here. King of Pentacles and Strength here. Somebody has deep Leo in the chart and deep Earth Pisces. Let's see here, some clarifications here. Some clarifications for the Pisces. Three of Swords. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, that's good. I feel here you. You're not as much as you used to in whoever is this person. Even could be your twin. Because we have Ten of Cups and the Sun Twin Flame Energy. Two of Swords. Three of Wands. You distant yourself from this person, which is another three here. Three of swords, three of wands, three of cups, three of pentacles is missing, which is working together on this. Doesn't seem for you that. Hierophant. Or doesn't work for you, whatever you are point out there. Ten of swords. Five of Pentacles, yes. Somebody here will feel very much unwelcomed. Although I feel here there is somebody here who might put you in a third party Pisces, but they could go through a divorce. They might lost a lot of things here. Yeah. They have a lot of things here to deal on emotional level and as well on financial level. Nine of Wands, King of Pentacles. I feel here you are King of Pentacles, grounded, stable on your own. And you are ready for something good towards something good. It's like I want my heart to be nurtured, not ruined. High Priestess. Because you know what is there for you and what is there quite not for you. So, by seeing, I feel here that's you with this Earth energy in the chart. And also, you are speaking your intuition. You are speaking out your things. We have three aces here. Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands, and Ace of Cups. The Ace of Pentacles missing. A stable, grounded start. So... It's a good thing here that Pisces is standing up for themselves. Ace of Wands. Ace, Eight of Wands. You know, seeing the combination of Eight of Wands and Ace of Wands. Somebody here is hungry for passion. And not only for passion, for many other things king of swords but very very cold could be um gemini libra aquarius but you learn your lesson no sir no ma'am so this person really needs a release a emotional or um, a physical release basically and you know you're way more grounded you're way more stable on your own let me see here like this you are very intuitive 
you're not like you know that silly Piscean or that childish Piscean before but the thing here is like you know hey I'm happy to tell you what I need to what I want to so whatever they come here with whatever intention again they have that surprise that that doesn't work for you anymore so they don't have that power or that influence over you as they used to even you consider them as a twin flame you took your power back very grounded and again whatsoever you see here only one aside is Ace of Cups here. And now you know with this Nine of Wands, I know what is real love and what is passionate energy or sex, call it the way you want. So yes, loves, they have a huge surprise at this time. Let's see here, one advice. One advice or one message for you, Pisces. Chariot and Nine of Cups. You know, it's kind of like I am moving towards my wish fulfillment. And the next card is the Wheel of Fortune. I know now what I want and I'm moving towards that. You know, like my my car is moving towards something better. Good job. Pisces, very proud of you. You made a huge progress. The Pisces I'm reading now, it's kind of like you are not in here anymore. Or you are not as you used to here. And that's good. It's like my life roll around me. It's like the, the world is not turning or is not spinning around you anymore. Good job. Let's see. One oracle. Rabbit Spirit 49. Now is a lucky time. And yeah lucky time moving towards something new and number 25th elephant spirit learn from your past and i feel here you did learn big time good job so pisceans i thank you so much for coming in and in tune with these energies if you really enjoy this content let me know down below in the comments and as well if you feel that this is the channel you want to be or the family to be part of, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Share with whoever you feel they need to hear these messages. Many blessings. Bye for now.